I did a recipe on cream corn that had a little bit more steps when you use flour and stuff. But there's also an easier way and a faster way for you to do cream corn. So homemade. So if you sit back and relax and enjoy this recipe, I'll show you even a faster, easier way to make homemade cream corn. What you're going to do is you're going to take a stick and a half of unsalted butter and you're going to let this melt. So I just keep the lid on to let it melt a little faster. You're going to need salt, pepper, some sugar, and heavy cream, and of course, the magic ingredient, frozen corn. The reason you want frozen corn, it cooks up better for cream corn, and you're going to need your cream in case I forgot to say cream. Anyways, we're going to let this melt, and when it gets done, I'll show you your next steps. I just put enough corn to fill my pan. Sprinkle your salt and your pepper over it. And I do about a spoon and a half of sugar. That's what this white stuff is. And you're just going to mix it all in. Get all that frozen corn saturated with the butter. Get all the salt, pepper, sugar all coated. You're going to put the lid on. And I have it on high until this corn starts to thaw just a little bit. You don't need it thawed all the way because it's going to finish cooking anyway. So what I do is I just flatten it out. Put my lid on it and I will leave it and I'll check on it in about three to four minutes and we'll show you the next step. All right, it's boiling. The corn is pretty much thawed just on that three to four minutes. So now you're just going to go by feel and sight. Pour in your cream. You don't need a lot. I'd say about a half a cup. Between a third and a half a cup of cream is all you're going to need, depending on how big your pot is. Now, you're going to turn this down to medium. Okay, medium heat. Put your lid on and just let it sit till it thickens up. Just keep stirring every few minutes and you'll know it's done when it's all thickened up for you to your consistency. And when you're done, when it's done, I will show you what's last. It's all nice and thick. Look at that. It took about 25 minutes. Now, I know this is going to sound weird, but unless you've done it and tried it, try it before. You're going to take Parmesan cheese and you're just going to lightly sprinkle your cheese over it as much as you want. We all like it, so I'm putting ours a little heavier. But there it is. No flour, so you don't have that chalky, that pasty kind of feeling or taste in your mouth if you don't want to deal with flour. Fast, simple recipe. Butter, corn, heavy cream. Then you need salt, pepper, or your seasonings to your choice, and Parmesan cheese. That's it. Three main ingredients. Butter, cream, corn. Cream corn says it all right there. All right, for this recipe and more, I hope to see you at Lori's World. Enjoy.